Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at the Latvian Railway Museum. In this video, we're not going to explore the Railway Museum because I've just made a video on that. So if you want to see the Railway Museum, have a look at the link on screen now. In this video, we're going to go and do some tram bashing in and around Riga. So this is Riga, the capital of Lithuania. It's got about 600,000 people. So it's a pretty big city. It's got quite an extensive tram network with so far, I think three different types of trams I've seen in service. So we're here. This, this is various routes. Route 10, I know, is one of them. So what I thought we'll do, we'll just see what comes along and we'll head out to the end of one of the tram routes. And uh, I'm not necessarily saying I'm going to show you the whole of the system, but I'm going to try and show you some of the most interesting parts of Riga's tram network. So if you were to go that way over the river, that would take you to the city centre. But my plan is to head out that way into the suburbs and see what we can find. So let's go and do some tram bashing. junction so I'm in the second of the cars now it's interesting they've got trolley poles like they're very old trams. so if you look around there you can see the front one of our carriage taking us around the corner and that's the line so we're branching off routes five and one now my plan is on this one I'll go to the end of the route as I always like to do we're just coming to a stop now and this one goes under a bridge under route I think it's route one or route five so I may well come back a different way. I haven't quite decided what we're going to do, but that's my plan. So I'm just going to continue now to enjoy the ride.
Kosovauka stacijā. Nākamā pietura – Elvīras ielā. Uzmanīt. Turvis aizvars. Pietura, Kandavas. Uzmanīt, Dormis aizvars. Pietura, Jaunkaules iela. Uzmanīt, Dormis aizvars.
So this is the end of route two, wherever this is. Here's our Tartra trams, this is the return loop. So everyone just got off, the tram will go around there. I might wait a bit and see it do that or I'm just gonna get back on. I'm not sure how often they come along. There's a railway line along there. I was hoping we might see a train. We might yet, but we haven't as of yet. And you can see our tram has a trolley pole, which I think is quite nice. Not many tram systems, even with older trams like this, use trolley poles. They tend to have pantographs. The modern Skoda trams have pantographs, but these trams don't. So what I'll probably do now, I'm going to ride Route 2 back into the city centre because um, then that will get me back there. I was thinking of getting the other route, which goes over the bridge. What was that? <laughs> Sounded like some gunshots. A bit strange. Anyway. Uh, but it did a, like where it split and went down two different streets. I feel I got to do Route 2 in both directions for the sake of completeness. So I'm going to go and probably get back on that tram and ride back into the city centre. I just had a wander up there, hoping to see a train. I found a larder, that was about the best thing. Came back to the tram stop, same tram, hasn't gone yet. I was right about 15 minutes ago. There's a siding there, which is interesting, but I've just seen something even more interesting. I thought, what's that? And um, there's these like little houses for cats. And there is a cat there, looking at me, wondering what on earth is going on. Are you gonna come out? I don't think it wants to come out, it's probably too cold, I don't blame it. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get back on the tram. But yeah, what a strange find. Um, the doors are open, some other bloke just got on. So I think, um, I wasn't sure if it would go around the loop and I could get on somewhere else. Cause I did think about standing and watching it go around the loop, but it's just so cold um, that, yeah. Look, another interesting thing I noticed is these barcodes and there's number of the trams. You can obviously do something to say you're on this tram. Sometimes in trains in the UK you can report a problem and it tells you the number of the carriage, which obviously it's quite amusing. It sort of encourages passengers to, without realising it, take down train numbers. If it was the summer, I'd probably have my head out the window. I love having head out the window on these types of trams, but it's a bit cold and I'd probably annoy the other passengers, even if I have got the carriage to myself. So I'm just going to sit and wait here now, see what happens. But I think it's uh, sooner or later I'm going to enjoy the ride back to the city centre. And look, that cat has come out. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. See, look, typical. Typical cat, it wouldn't come out when I wanted it to, comes out now. It'd be really funny if it came and got on the tram, wouldn't it? But I don't somehow think it will, it's, especially if it's heading off in the other direction. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy the ride back to Riga. It's day two of my tram bashing around Riga. It's quite nice here in the park in the centre. Lots of snow, but it's a much clearer, brighter day. It's actually colder than yesterday, it's about minus four but that uh, doesn't stop me enjoying doing the tram bashing. So we come to this stop here, and um, probably what I'm gonna do, if a tram on Route 1 comes along, I'll travel to Amanta, which is the newest part of the network. It opened in 1984, so in terms of new routes, there hasn't been any new routes since 1984. It's a fairly big network though. Let's just see what the name of this stop is. That's the name of this stop. So yeah, you can see what it says, but I'm not gonna try and pronounce it. Oh, it says the retro tram stops here. I've not seen that out. I expect that runs in the summer. But I know there is a retro tram. I'd love to see that and have a ride in it. So we'll keep our eyes open. But as far as I'm aware, it's probably more of a, a summer thing. So I'm going to probably wait for a tram on Route 1. And we'll go to the end of Route 1 see what there is there.
So here we are at Amanta, the end of the route. I enjoyed my trip on this Skoda built tram. So the things you have to get out here, I assume there's a big turning circle there. It's really just a massive housing estate. Lots of um, communist blocks everywhere. You look, let's go across the tram line and see if we can see where the tram's going to go. So there we go. Oh yeah, there's another tram there waiting to come back. So unfortunately you don't actually get to ride the loop here. Sometimes you can when you go on these tram lines, you get to travel around the loop, which is always quite fun. But like at the end of Route 2 yesterday, the stop was on the loop, but here it seems you get off and the tram will go around the loop. So this is the newest part of the Riga's tram system. And like I said, it's not that new really, it opened in 1984. So there's our Skoda tram and I wonder if it's going to move off soon, it either will or it won't. There's actually two tracks um, there, so they can have two trams waiting, so they, you know, can have a bit of flexibility. So I'm going to wait here and see what our tram does, see if it, well, it will go around the loop, I know that. Stand and watch it go around the loop. I've got off the tram here and um, the tram has gone that way back towards the city centre. My plan is to do the western end of Route 5, which the junction is a couple of stops that way. Now I would have got off at the junction stop. The reason I chose to get off here was because on the way, at the corner of my eye, I noticed something behind these buildings, something to do with the trams. It's also where one of the trolley bus routes cross. I'm not too into trolley bus, is, but we might have a ride on one either tomorrow or the next day. Just going to here. I'm not sure I'm supposed to just walk into here, but look, there's a tuck tra tram. Well, actually, there's two of them. I don't know if this is a bar or what it is. Sort of ready for someone to come along and ask me what I'm doing and tell me to leave. I, I don't know if I'm supposed to just walk in. But anyway, we have two tuck tra trams. And interestingly, they've got a car number plates on them. So I'm not too sure. They've got, they have quite a, um, it's quite unusual that the trams here have five numbers in their number and if they start with a three it, or a four or five and the three, the four, the five denotes which depot they're from. This one's open. I'm a bit cheeky and just have a look. No one's here to tell me not to. I think they've made this into a bar. So like I say, I don't think I'm supposed to just go wandering into here but no one said no. So yeah, these two old Tartra trams. Here's the driver's seat and they've taken all the controls away. So, yeah, bit of a surprise that was. I'm gonna go back out now and attempt, my plan is to go and ride Route 5. Yeah, here we are. This is the western end of Tram Route 5 on another Tartra Tram. So it's been quite an interesting route. One part of me wants to now ride it right to the other end, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get off and do Route 10, because Route 10 looks to be a nice interesting route on the system because it's got lots of single track sections. And I don't want to get off because I'm not sure they're not very frequent on this route. So rather than get off, I'll just show you that is the turning circle. So the tram, these doors are open, so put the camera up. We're in the tram would have come along there and it's gone around the turn 
around the turning loop like we saw yesterday at the end of Route 2. So I'm just going to sit here now and wait for however long it takes for us to go back again. tram route 10 there's passing stops or passing loops for some of the stops but not all of the stops so we seem to have reached well, i think we haven't quite reached a stop oh yeah we have so there's this stop doesn't have a passing loop but others do there was an interesting bit further back my plan is to get out there on the way back because what happened was the trams took different routes so the trams heading out of the city went one way and on the way back they go a slightly different way it was a similar thing we saw on Route 2. They go round a cemetery, but there's also a depot. So it's like a square with a cemetery in the tram depot. So that's quite an unusual combination. So we're going to have a look at that on the way back. I'm going to continue enjoying the ride to the end, see what we see. I like how it's now, because quite a lot of what we saw, we were effectively on the roads. On, on Route 1, the newer section, we were sort of on segregated track. Now we're running like a traditional roadside tramway, really, which is what I quite like. Now what's happening? Here, yeah, we're just coming to a sort of a road junction. So again, we're on one of these types of tram cars. There's two of them. I always go in the back one because I particularly like standing in the back, looking at the view out the back. So um, I'm just going to see if we can I'll show you one of these passing loops that we keep seeing. It's all sort of residential area. This is. Um, is that passing? I'm not sure because every time we come to a passing loop, it slows right down for the tram to negotiate, yeah I think this might be one now, for the tram to negotiate the turns as we're doing right now. Another thing I like about these trams, the tar trams and the Skodas, is turning up doors on one side, you've got a lot more room for seats. So you can see what people, yeah, we are look, on on the, either a double track or a passing loop. I think it is just a passing loop. Very cold outside still, it's minus four today. Yesterday it was minus two. So Cold, but it's actually a lot fresher today, so it's a nicer day. Yes, they're just a little bit dull. The tram's a five foot gauge, so the same as the Russian railway gauge, so it's quite nice to ride on these broad gauge trams. Yeah, we are going back, humbly, make a little bit over the points and back onto single track. I'm going to sit down now, enjoy the rest of the ride, and we'll see what we find at the end of the route. reaching the end of the route because there's a tram just there we're going on to the circle now so you can just see the front of the tram and the other one's leaving so I didn't get numbers at all 30873 I think it was so they're just leaving so I don't know how long it is whether we'll wait here we'll get out here now we're going to get to the whole route so whether we'll wait here for the tram to come the other way and then we'll go again I'm not too sure on some of these other routes they're not that regular the trams so I find it's easier to stay on. When I went to the end of Route 5, I basically just stayed on, um, sat there for about 10 minutes there, went again. Route 1 seems to be the regular one. My plan is though to get out, because I don't think this tram's gonna go anywhere until a tram comes here. Well, they have a little building at, like this at the end of most routes, and I think the driver must go and get a cup of tea. Interestingly, like most of the rest of Eastern Europe, the tram drivers on the whole tend to be women, which I think is quite nice. Um, Obviously, train drivers is often thought of a male's job, although in the UK certainly now there's a lot more female drivers. But in Eastern Europe, it's quite common to have female tram drivers. So there's our tram. You can see they don't both have the trolley pole up. Let's walk around here. So, yeah, the places I've come to. I'm just at the end of a tram route. I'm not sure the name of the stop. Um, I'll put it on screen now because I won't be able to pronounce it. Very, very cold. Minus four degrees, snow on the ground. Look at that the icicles coming out of that pipe. There's our two trams. 
I can't see if there is a driver. Yeah, there is a driver there. And again, it's a female driver. Like I said, they do tend to be female drivers. So I'm just going to have a little look at the trams. I'm going to get back on. I do really like these Tartra trams. I think they date back to about 1976. And they were built up to about 1981. So these, what were Czechoslovakia at the time, these Czechoslovakian trams are found in many cities over Eastern Europe. There's not so many as there used to be, though. A lot of cities like Dresden would have had them once. They've all been replaced with more modern trams. But I think they're great. I really enjoy bashing on... Well, I enjoy any trams, but Tartra trams are some of my favourite trams. So I think I'm just going to get back on and enjoy the ride. As I said, we will get off where the stop, where the depot is, to have a little look at that. So I just had a very enjoyable trip over Route 10 and I filmed it as far as here. So that's a separate video. If you want to have a look at that, look at the link on the screen now. That's the single line from there. Now it's interesting what happens here. I said that the track split around the depot. So if you're heading back towards City Centre, you'll be on this track and you'll go down there. And then there is the depot. Now it's, it's got dark now, but luckily the part of the network I'm showing you, the depot, is full flood so we can have a fairly good look and then when you're coming out the city you'd come along this line here so basically along there the route turns left and then joins the other route the outward route over there and um, as i mentioned before the other side behind the depot there's a cemetery so it's a bit of an odd combination this square of a tram depot and a cemetery so see various tartra trams they all seem to be tartra trams now this thing i mentioned about some depots being coded a three and some are five we seem to have a bit of both in here so i'm not sure which one this is and i haven't yet discovered if there's any other depots which i hopefully will find out i'm probably not gonna do much more tram bashing jay purely because it's got dark um so this is the back of the depot there's a few trams there the cemetery is there where those trees are there's another tram there what we'll do we'll just go around here you get a good view it's quite good for i ticked off most of the trams um for sight by just simply walking down that path there and you can see most of them but there's two tracks and some of them are parked in such a way that the tram on this side obstructs their numbers which is a bit annoying but you know and I'm not sure some of them look like they might be sort of semi-permanently out of service so whether I'll ever get a chance to ride those ones I don't know so that's the, the single line now to the end of route 10 where we were earlier there's a couple of trolley bus routes here you just see a trolley bus over there. So I might do a trolley bus route uh, tomorrow. I haven't decided yet, or the next day. I'm just walking around this corner and just takes us back to where we can see all the trams. It's a really nice old brick building, the depot is. So there you go, there's some good view of the trams. What we'll do, we'll go down here. There's a really nice cobbled street which um, just has such a sort of nice atmosphere, the cobbled street and the trams running down it. I did particularly enjoy though Route 10 because the way it worked as a roadside tramway, I wonder what would happen because when you get a tram route and you notice it's single track, I knew from the map I was looking at it's going to be single track, I'm always sort of intrigued to know what's going to happen, how does it, what's the relationship like with the traffic because quite often a single track route could be sometimes say places like London and Nottingham they run on and Manchester they run on old railway lines so they can be single track but when they run along roads like um, the interurban trams between Heidelberg and Mannheim they have some single track sections on roads and the cars coming the other way simply have to wait for the tram to come the other way uh, so it's but this one what seems to be pretty much a roadside tramway 
once it gets up there it becomes double track again runs beside the road and then it runs into the middle of the road most of Riga's tram routes what I've seen so far tend to run in the middle of the road which I always find is the least exciting I like it when they kind of you know do a bit of everything so there we go coming to down here very quiet around here look it's just a cobbled street there all very icy have to, you know I've nearly slipped over a few times today feels very uh, Eastern Europe. It does feel quite, you know, just, just Eastern a long way from home. There we go. So it doesn't look like they've been out for a while. I just wanted to bring you around here to show you the front of the depot. There didn't seem to be any activity here at all, thinking about it. It didn't look like any trams have come in or out lately. So maybe this isn't the main operational depot. No idea what's in there. There could be all sorts of, there's loads of Tartra trams in there. Um, so this is on the free this tram depot and then just up there the route you can see which one you get to travel on look i'm actually standing on on a track now you can barely see it you can just about tell it's there and there's the point going into the depot so i'm going to walk around i'm going to go and find the stop around the corner and jump on a tram head back into the city center <laughs> 